Hi, Wednesday. Going over to Willow Beach and going over there with uh, one of my friends from the uh, played with in the home game. Actually, uh, he's the one that uh, yelled some expletives once uh, I beat him and uh, every neighbor. And so, just going over there, just, like chill, hang out, have a few drinks on the beach. Just kind of chill on a just it's a gorgeous day out. It's like 85 degrees, no clouds, perfect weather. Just to go and go out and chill. So going to Willow Beach was a lot of fun, really enjoyed it, really chill day. Back on the strip now about 6 o'clock and gonna go play some poker now. Probably, uh, the, looked on, checked Bravo, the Venetian actually has 10 1-2 games going, so it looks like that should be pretty good. And we'll see how the games are. Super short, like 34 minute session or something like that at Venetian. Venetian can be kind of deceptive on Bravo because with their high hand promotion running, it attracts a lot of the logos and regs here. So you'll see, oh, 14 tables going, and then you go and every, all 14 tables have, you know, half, of, half the tables, locals and regs. And not that locals and regs can't be beat or are great players or anything. But your win rate is going to be much higher if you can find a table without any, or maybe one or two at most. It's probably in for three, out for three, fourteen. So whoopee. Gonna go go and try and find another decent game. It's Wednesday night. It can be kind of difficult to find a game, but if we have to casino hop, we have to casino hop. So since I can't find a good poker game, I'm gonna go find a good restaurant. It's called In and Out. I don't, you don't live on the West Coast, you don't know what In and Out is, but you don't know what you're missing out on because it's one of the best burgers in the entire country for a great price. A little plug for In and Out. Awesome burgers. I'm gonna go grab some. Double double. Over to Bellagio, they got four games going right now, which isn't really awesome, but I'm gonna check it out.
Hit the Bellagio, things are going pretty well. Been in the game a little over three hours, about 1 a.m. so far. Pretty decent table. Have so pick up black aces in middle position. There's one limper, so I make it 15. And there are three colors. And then the and the original limper calls as well. Four ways to the flop with aces. Flop of king, jack, eight, rainbow. So fairly safe flop. Uh, some draws out there, some Broadway draws. And four ways, I'm definitely gonna be C putting in a C bet here. Definitely one near the field. Check action checks to me, so I make a C bet by half pot, $25. I think the size is okay. Could go a little bit bigger. I think it will on some some uh, if there is a flush draw out there as well, but on the rainbow board. I think it's okay. So folds round to the original man who limped and, and he calls. So heads up to the turn. Turn is a pretty safe card, it's a four. So I bet forty dollars. And he calls fairly quickly. The river is kind of an interesting card, it's uh, Jack, so it pairs the board. And, but he checks over to me, so if he had gotten to the river with a Jack, I think he's betting it a lot. So, so I'm expecting to have the best hand here. And I think I'd make a big bet sizing mistake here. I only bet $50, which is a super small bet in relation to the pot size. It really. It, it really value targets the king and it makes it pretty hard for the king to fold because it gives him such a great price. But I think I need to go si uh, size a little bit larger. I think it's definitely a leap that I'm noticing is not sizing nearly big enough, especially on my premium hands. And I think that's that's uh, a leak in my game I can look to fix. So I think uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing some work on that. There's another hand where I picked up Pocket tens in the big blind. There's one limper. I just check. Where heads up. I should have raised. I didn't play well, but I whatever. Okay, we're heads up. I check. I check pocket tens. Flop is no, no. Agreeable. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm not, no, I'm not saying it. Flop is 10, ace, 4. So we flop a set. Goes check, check. Turn is an 8. I bet $10. Villain calls. River's a 6, so I improved to a full house. I bet 25, villain calls, and we're good. So, scoop a little pot there. So, gonna keep at it. Game's still pretty soft, so don't really see any reason to leave yet. Only been in a game about a little over three, three, three and a half hours now. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I lied. When I got back to the table, they were somehow five-handed when I, they were eight-handed when I left. Maybe they left because the fish left to film his vlog. I don't know. Pretty decent session. In for three, out 540. So, pretty decent session for like three and a half hours. Pretty decent hour there. Well guys, that's going to do it for my second vlog. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in how I got into poker and a little bit of my backstory, Poker News actually published my story a couple months ago. I'll include a link in the, in the description. Be sure to check it out. It's pretty neat. Next time.